Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your 24th HTML tutorial. In the previous tutorial, we talked about actually two things, uh, with one of them being how to use HTML doc types to basically tell the browser how to render the contents that we're putting out on our page. And uh, the other thing was comments, how to create comments in HTML to tell others as well as ourselves uh, if we went away from a project or something for a little while, uh, what's going on and how it can be used and whatever else you want to add in the comments. Um, so in this tutorial, I figured uh, we'll start something uh, kind of a project, I guess you could say, where we create a profile page, a very simple profile page, similar to uh, what we have up here. Um, I just threw this together in a couple minutes. Uh, so I guess it's kind of where we can put the stuff that we learned in the last 23 tutorials together and just make something out of it. So uh, right here I created a little profile. I guess you can kind of compare it to an about.me profile where you can have links to services that you use, uh, a little like blurb about yourself, a picture, um, and stuff like that. So uh, this is what we're going to be creating in this project, and uh, so let's start doing it. So if we come over here to Notepad++, uh, you'll notice that here's the code that we have. It's not too much. Um, it's just stuff that we've learned in the last couple tutorials. Uh, I threw it all together so we can create something like this. So feel free to modify whatever code you want, to play around with it, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, I didn't put in a real picture of myself. I figured I was, I might do it, um, but if you go to my, I don't know, dailybooth.com, you can see real pictures of me. I just threw in a picture of uh, the icon that I used for the Technical Cafe uh, YouTube channel and Twitter account, so um, probably could have put it a little bit bigger, but anyway, uh, this is what we're going to be creating. We're going to be using a little bit of CSS to uh, style the div that we have right here, uh, just to put this little uh, uh, border around it and just keep the spacing nice and whatever, um, but we'll work on that when we get to it. So it's not really a CSS-based tutorial, um, but we'll be talking a little bit about CSS. And one more thing, this tutorial might be uh, divided into a couple parts just to keep it down on time, but uh, we'll see how that goes as the tutorial progresses. So here's the code that we have for our tutorial. Uh, we start off with an HTML. I didn't include a doc type, though if you want to, you can. You can play around with that. Um, and if you don't know what a doc type is, you can refer back to the last tutorial, HTML tutorial 23, uh, where we talk about those in comments. So this right here is our, our project one or uh, profile page code. So right here we have our HTML uh, kind of uh, outline tags here, and then we have our header. Uh, and within that we have our title, which is just Project 1 Profile Pages, which is uh, right up here. And we also have our CSS code, which is right here between these two style tags. Uh, and this is only used, being used to style the div, uh, this div right here. So all this code, even though it looks like a lot, uh, is only uh, putting in padding and stuff over here, some margins. Uh, actually, the padding's over here, the margins are here, uh, and making the border, choosing the width and whatnot, um, as well as keeping the spacing above and below it, and centering this. So this is uh, all that code does. It might look like a lot, but it's really not. We'll get into that um, when we're dealing with creating the div. So we'll, for now, we'll just uh, minus that down a little bit. So, and then we end our head. So this is still within our head, it's just minus down. Um, so then we have our body, and in our body we have a couple um, attributes here, including that we changed the color of our active and visited links. Before we changed this, uh, some of the links were purple, some were blue, um, so we just wanted to keep that uniform in case someone was visiting our profile page. Um, and also you'll notice I wasn't using a background, though feel free to throw one in, um, just to make it look the way you want to make it look. So let's go back to our code here. Uh, we have our title. I didn't use divs. We could have used divs to center the text, uh, such as this image and uh, the text, but Seeing as this isn't a CSS tutorial, we're just going to be sticking with uh, using HTML to do that. And then we have our body, which is in the div. So uh, this is the only code that we have within the div. Everything else is CSS. So um, that's that. And then we have our links here, which is just centered uh, HTML hyperlinks. So uh, let's just blank this, and uh, we'll get started creating our profile page. And we'll save that, come over here, and refresh. Alright, so now that it's blank, let's get to work creating it. So we'll uh, first start off with some uh, HTML tags here. And we'll include our header. And within our header, we're going to include a title. And we'll call this, uh, you can call it whatever you want, uh, HTML project 1 profile pages. So we'll save this out, come over here and take a look. And it looks nice. So. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some room for our uh, styles that we're going to be putting in. So we'll say style 
uh, type equals text slash CSS and uh, slash style. And if you remember from the tutorial before where we used some CSS, um, which is the tutorial on divs, uh, all the HTML or the CSS code that's going to be used to style the div uh, is going to be between these two tags here. So uh, we're not going to worry about that right now. We'll just kind of keep that there for when we go back to it uh, to create the body div that we saw in the beginning of the tutorial. This is all we're going to be putting in our head right now. Um, so we'll just move that up a little bit for some space. And uh, now let's get to work on the actual body of the um, of our profile page. Um, as you saw before, it was pretty plain, um, but you can feel free to play around and add different things if you want to. Um, but right now we're going to put a title up here that says Jamie's Profile. Um, so let's get to work doing that. So we'll create a paragraph or a header one, uh, which is the biggest of the six headers if you remember from that tutorial. Um, and we'll just say Jamie's Profile. And why is this uh, purple? Ah, I see, because we didn't put that there. Okay, uh, just a little bit of an error that we uh, had there. I forgot to put in a quotation mark. Um, so when I say quotation marks are important, uh, this is kind of why. So now let's just save that and take a look. Um, so here we have our text. We just want to move this over a little bit uh, and put it in the center to make everything not look like it's off to the side and make it look uniform. Uh, so we'll just use some a set of center tags to do that. So center, and we'll come over here and close that off. So if we come over here and refresh, here we go. Uh, we have looks nice. Now we just need to work on getting the rest of the stuff in there. So the next thing we're going to add in is um, uh, an image. So if you have a picture that you want to use, maybe it's on your Facebook, maybe it's on your Twitter, online somewhere, um, you can use that as well. Um, if you remember from the HTML hyperlink tutorial, you can use uh, links that are URLs. So if you maybe have a daily booth or something, you can just uh, copy the URL and paste it in. Or you can use uh, an image that is in a directory on your computer, whether it be the same directory or a different directory. Uh, so let's go about doing that. So if you remember from the images tutorial, uh, we just start off saying uh, img for image, src for source, equals, and then uh, some quotation marks. And if you remember, the image tag doesn't actually have a closing tag, so there's no closing image. Uh, it's just not something we, we use. Um, or that it, it will make a difference, actually, if we use it, but we're not supposed to because there's no code that's going between it. So um, we just I just threw in one of these. It's just a good practice, I guess, to do. Um, insert a forward slash. So when we save this and take a look over here, you'll notice that we have an image, um, but it's not pointing to anything. Uh, and if we right click, there's no option to view the image. Uh, it just shows a broken image right here. And that's because we actually haven't specified an image yet. So uh, let's go about doing that. Uh, the image that I have is on my desktop. Let's see if I can uh, show it to you here. Uh, yep, the image I have right here, I just called it photo. Um, so that's what we're going to be using here. So if we come back into our code, uh, we'll just say dot slash photo. Uh, and the dot slash indicates that it's in the same directory um, as this. And it is because the HTML project one uh, is also in the same directory or folder as photo. So uh, that's how we go about doing that. Uh, regular photo works. We need to add the file extension, so JPG. Um, so if we save this, come over here and refresh, you'll notice that here's our image. Uh, and also, if we were to add the dot slash and refresh, the image still shows up because it's in the same directory. Uh, if you had it in a different folder, you'd have to specify it. So if you had it in a folder called pictures, uh, you'd have to go pictures slash photo, uh, and this is assuming pictures is, in the, is on the desktop. So um, we'll just leave it at this for right now, and that's what we have. And again, just like this, we, our header, we want to move this over to the center. So we'll just uh, do that using some center tags. And again, we could use CSS to do this if we wanted to, but since this is uh, more of a culminating project of the HTML tutorial, uh, we'll just go about using center tags here. Um, so this is basically the first part of the tutorial. Uh, we're nine minutes in right now, so uh, we'll split this into a second video uh, where we can pick up where we left off. So uh, feel free to keep on watching if you like, and if you have any questions this far, please feel free to, feel free to post them in the comments. Uh, use the contact page in Technical Cafe, and I'll try to help you out with those. So uh, thanks for watching, and please feel free to continue in the next video.